If you're thinking about selling your home, it can seem pretty daunting, but we're actually breaking down everything you need to know if you're ready to take that next step, including downsizing. So here to help us in this sponsored segment is Kim wormer skirchen the past president of the board of the Metro, uh, Metro Brokers. Welcome, Kim. Great to see you. Nice to see you again. So we've got some things we've got to talk about. Someone that's selling their home may not know where they're going to move yet. What should people be thinking about? I think they need to think about what lifestyle they want to have. Do they want to be close to light rail? <clears throat> Do they want to be close to, you know, getting coffee in the morning, close to family, close to work? Those are probably the main things to start out with. Yeah, all those things have to be considered. Well, what if someone doesn't know where to start with downsizing? Oh, that's always, <laughs> it can paralyze people from yeah. doing anything because it's so much. So don't look at the whole house. I just tell my clients, go to a room, just go to one room, go to one corner, and then start making piles. And, and the piles are saving some if you're going to trash it, if you want to donate it, or if you want to save it to give to family. So you're looking at old stuff first and maybe getting rid of that. Right, like yeah. the checking yeah. check, checking accounts that you still have copies of. You, yeah. if, you can you can shred them and you'll feel real good about it. <laughs> no, no question. No, I've done that. All right. So here's a challenging question. What repairs should someone do before they move? Oh, uh, that's always scary. Yeah. Because somebody like they put in new carpet. Well, that could deter some a buyer who wants hardwood floors Point. and they're not going to tear up brand new carpet. Right. So first call a Metro broker agent, have them come out and talk to you and see what we can help you with. Yeah, it's nice to have you in your in someone's corner, you know, with that advice. Here's another question. So mm -hmm. how much money? will you get from selling your home? Well, it depends if you own the home free and clear. So you have, the number one is paying your mortgage back and the number two, your closing costs. And those two things will let you know what you would get out. And you'll be able to sit down with someone and explain all that. Yeah, we do a net sheet for everyone. Yeah, so that mm -hmm. makes it easy. All right, so one more question. Does a homeowner need to sell their home before purchasing another? Some people will need to do that because they won't have the funds to help with the down payment. But there's workarounds on all of that. There's so many different programs. You can rent your house back for a couple of months. You can um, maybe get a bridge loan if you need to. So it, it's, it can do big conditional on the sale of your home. It's, it's a lot that we can do with that. And that's case by case basis, right? Yeah, it is. In many, in many instances. All right, well, here's mm -hmm. some more information. If you're ready to sell your home, or if, if you're thinking about buying uh, another home for the first time, give Metro Brokers a call. Their number is 303-843-0100. You can also learn more at, uh, online at metrobrokersonline.com. Thanks again to Metro Brokers for sponsoring this segment.